and I'm Miss International 2016. This year has been absolutely incredible and I am so, so thankful that I've had this opportunity. I travel about two to three weeks out of every month, so I'm pretty much always on the go and making appearances. And today, I wanna to show you one of my go-to looks using all Clay Span Cosmetics and Dead and Dead Lashes that is perfect for appearances. You know, when you're out and about, you still have to look like Miss International. Whether you're in the heat of Soweto, Africa, or you're in the cold of North Dakota, or even the cold of New York Fashion Week. It's pretty intense, but one of the most amazing things is going out and representing not only this organization, but our platform. And when you're out there, you represent not just Miss International, but all of the young ladies who competed for this title. So it's incredibly important that you're always looking the part of Miss International. So if you're interested in creating the perfect appearance look using Clay Span Cosmetics, just keep watching. All right, so as you guys can see, my face is a little bit different than my skin color, and that's because I just don't like to tan my face. I try to take as good of care of it as possible. Um, so we're gonna have to match my foundation more so to my arm than to my forehead because those are two totally different shades. We're gonna start off with the Pore Perfecting Primer. This is one of my favorites. Um, my little sister queen, Garen, and I will sometimes just wear this by itself because it really does even out the skin tone and so that's a great foundation before makeup as well. So it's kind of a two for one. I really like to concentrate it on my nose as well because I have really bad skin in my nose area and sometimes I'll get oily and it's just not very pretty. And then I also show pores really badly all throughout right here. Now before I put my foundation on, I actually like to go ahead and cancel out there any kind of redness or any kind of purple under eyes that I have right here. Um, as Miss International, you don't get that much sleep because it's just such a phenomenal year and you're so busy. So thank goodness for Clay Span because that's going to get canceled out. So we're going to go in with this. This is the corrector in orange. And then honestly, I just still like to apply it with any little brush. This one is the Morphe G20. And I'm lightly going to get it right here on the brush and then put it right there on the under eye. This way when we go in with our concealer and with our foundation, we're not trying to, you know, cover up basically a purple under eye or completely red. This does a great job just canceling it out. Then we're just going to blend it out just a little bit using this L'Oreal sponge. We want to be kind of gentle because the under eye area is so sensitive to begin with that this really isn't the area that we want to go super hard on. So I'm just lightly using this blender to just blend it out very soft. For foundation today, we're going to use the Picture Perfect, and this is in Olive Glow. I am a little bit more tan now than I usually am, um, just because it's summer and I'm enjoying being outside, kind of like Olaf from Frozen. Um, and I am Colombian, so I tan very, very well. To put this on, I'm using a Real Techniques brush. You can use this or you can use um, a sponge that you would get like at the drugstore. Either option is totally up to you. I personally like this one a little bit better than a regular sponge. And this is a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. You know, the problem with not tanning your face is that then you have to like really work hard to make sure that the coverage is everywhere. With this, and one of the wonderful things about Clay Spans foundations are that they cover so much. Uh, and it never feels ultra heavy on your skin, um, especially as you get ready for Miss International. Internationals this year is in Charleston, West Virginia, and it's probably not going to be super cool. Um, so I love that this foundation is lightweight and really stays in place and gives me a full coverage for Internationals Week. As Miss International, we have a lot of appearances outside, um, and we work very closely with the American Heart Association and Go Red for Women. They are our national alliance. Um, and heart walks are not indoors. They are outdoors, and it can get very, very hot. Um, and I love that all of my Clay Span products really stay in place, even when I'm sweating. And it's disgusting outside. 
Okay, so now I look a little bit more like my skin color, and we are done with our foundation. For concealer, I actually like to use two colors, so that way I get a highlighting effect and a concealing effect without it looking like I just put white across my face. Um, not very cute. So this first one I'm going to use is called Ivory, and this one is going to go closest to my eye, right along here. There we go. Kind of looks like I have a little mask under my eye. And then right on this side as well. Now to lighten this up, I am going to go in with another shade and this one is in the color Golden Beige. This one's going right along here. Now I also like to contour my face, so I'm going to put a little bit here on my chin, right here on my nose, and then up as well. <laughs> this is actually how I'm going to go on stage this year for my farewell. What do you guys think? Alright, and we're going to blend it out. You'll also notice I'm going to take it on to my actual eye because I don't have the best actual eyes. Sometimes they have little veins that will pop out and it's not very cute. Um, and this will set a solid foundation and base for when I go in with my eyeshadow. Blending is everything because obviously it is significantly lighter than the rest of my skin color. Um, but when I go in and blend it all out, it looks significantly better. And then when I go to bronze as well, it's all gonna go in and just a beautiful face complexion. Okay, now that I have all this blended out, I need to set the foundation. And so I'm going to use one of the clay span powders. This is in the color True Beige. Now to set the under eye, I'm going to be using my little sponge again, and I'm going to be pressing it into the powder. Oh, keep the powder in there. Pressing it into the powder, shaking off any kind of excess that I might experience, and it's just going to get pressed right onto my face to where it actually is building up this powder. A lot of people call this baking. Um, you can call it whatever you want baking, setting the under eye, either way. We just need to get this set. And this setting process, baking process, whatever you want to call it, um, will actually keep it from creasing and will keep this under eye area very highlighted. Another thing I really love about this process is that when we go in to put our eyeshadow on, if anything falls or any of the pigment fall onto the under eye, we don't have to worry about it because we're just going to brush this away at the end. I feel like I always look crazy during this process, but then at the end when it looks really good, I don't necessarily mind because it was worth it. Okay, now that I have the main areas set, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. This one is by Too Faced and it's called Mr. Right. And I'm going to get some of the powder on my brush, tap off the excess, and set the rest of the face. This part doesn't necessarily need to bake any, but we do want to set it. Think about it, anytime you use a wet product on your face or a moist product, we want to set it with something dry. If we have ever met in person or you watch my YouTube videos, you might notice I smile a lot. So I tend to get creases right in here, so we are going to go back in with this little brush. And I brushed some of the powder over it, but I may also today, because we're going for the appearance look, it's got to be perfect, set right here along the mouth as well and this is really going to keep it from creasing or creating any unwanted lines. Okay, so I kind of feel like I look like Santa Claus, but it's going to work today. <laughs> Now before we get working on the eyes, I do have really bad dry lips, so I'm going to use the Clay Span Vitamin E right here on my lips just to give them a little extra moisture so that way it can set before we go in and start working 
on our actual lips. Now to begin working on the eyes, I'm going to cover the entire eye in this color called Vanilla Shake. This is going to work with the foundation and powder we already used to set that solid eye so that way when we go in the, with the colors, we're going to get a really nice shade of everything. Now for the actual lid, we're going to use something with a little bit more shimmer in it just because we do want our eyes to pop and at this event, we are the queen, it is an appearance. So we want to look our absolute best and we can have a little extra glam. So we're going to use this color and this is the shade Dreamy. Woo, dreamy, right? Use the same brush as before, just something with this flat head. Tap it right there on it and we're applying this strictly to the lid. Just has a little bit more shimmer to it. Now for the crease, we're going to go in with Toast. As you guys can tell, I really, really like it. And we're just going to use any brush like this that we can go right in there with the crease. Keep it really tight so it keeps our eyes big, open, and not too dark. We do want to keep it concentrated primarily right here at the outside. That's going to help our eyes look a little bit bigger because if you're anything like me, you have eeny little eyes. There we go. Now this is our transition shade or our crease shade. Now we want to blend it out a little bit so we don't have any harsh lines. To darken up the outside of our eyes, we're going to use the color Mocha and then bring this in a little bit toward the center of the eye without going all the way. And we're going to start right here in the corner of the eye. Bringing it up just a little bit to darken everything out. Now I am a very big stickler for blending things out, so no matter what brush I use to apply, I always like to go in with this fluffier one and just blend it out so there's nothing harsh. Now to really keep the eye defined, I am going to go in with another dark shade. This one has a little bit more shimmer in it because we're also going to use it as our bottom eyeliner. So I like to use it right here in the corners and then we'll also apply it on the bottom. And this is the shade Bronze Beauty. Using a pencil brush, just packing it in right here on the outside. There we go. Again, fluffy brush it out. There we go. Now we're going to get started on the eyebrows. This is probably one of the most nerve wracking parts for me because, you know, I'm going to be honest, there was a time when my brows were the kind that everyone talks about where it looks like they were like Sharpie brows. Um, those were not amazing days in my life. And thank goodness for Clay Spian teaching me how to fix it up. So this is where it could go south really quick. But using Clay Spain Cosmetics, I don't think it will. Um, and his lessons actually taught me a lot about makeup as well. So if you ever have the opportunity to book a makeup lesson with him, highly suggest it. This is the eyebrow color we're going to be using. And this is the shade Dark Brown. And all you need, honestly, just a little bit. It's very pigmented. So a little bit goes a long way. And there is a lot. So you're golden when you purchase this because it will last you forever. Now 
After I finish up putting my brows on, I like to just use a little spoolie to brush it out so that way it looks a little bit more natural. And this is going to help distribute the product some. Now we are going to highlight right here on the brow bone, going in with just another small little pencil brush. I'm going to use the shade Dreamy again. This one has a little bit more of a shimmer in it. Great highlight color for the brow. Okay, so now that we have our eyeshadows done and our brows, we're going to do some eyeliner. However, we're going to start with the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and brush all this baking away so we can move forward with that. This just creates such a smooth look on the skin. I absolutely love it. Now for our under eye, as we mentioned before, we're going to use this beautiful shade in the color Bronze Beauty. Getting it right here in my pencil brush again, just tapping lightly. And I'm going to apply it right here along the waterline, just trying to get it as close to my lashes as possible. Now I'm not going to take it all the way into the tear duct because we are trying to keep it bright, open, and airy instead of too dark or too smoky for an appearance. I really like this shade for appearances or when I'm going out because it keeps the eyes so beautiful. I can even use it in casual looks when I just want something that makes the eyes pop because the little bit of shimmer does draw in the light. Ah, I love this shade. Now for our top eyeliner, since we did use a brown on the bottom, it might not always look the best to use a black as the line. So today I'm going to be using the color Dark Chocolate to line the top of my eyes. Now that the eyes are aligned, we're going to put on our mascara. One of the things I love most about Clay's mascara is that it's so black. It's super black, not grayish black. It is black. And the brush on it is just incredible and really does separate all your lashes. All right, so we're gonna let this dry before we put on lashes and we're gonna start contouring, bronzing, and bringing our face to life. <laughs> to tan us up and contour today, we're gonna be using this shade and this is the Tanning Powder in Matte Bronze. When we're contouring, we really don't want any shimmer and I love that this creates a beautiful contour and bronze without looking like, wow, she has got chiseled cheeks. Just a beautiful, natural, great appearance look. Browns up the forehead. Now that we've bronzed ourselves a little bit, we are going to contour our nose, simply squeezing this brush and going right here along the sides. For blush today, we're going to be using this shade. It's kind of like a really beautiful dusty pink, the color Bouquet from Clay Span. Now, let's get some lashes on. I'm gonna do these off camera because it's never too cute to put them on on camera. So, one second. All right, so we've got our eyelashes on. Those are drying at this moment. These are the done and done lashes available online or you can also get them in store at Thomas Dunn Studios. While those are drying, we are gonna move forward with our Clay Span Cosmetics and the lips. Today, we're gonna be lining with the color Whisper. As far as color, we're going to be using this shade, and this is the color Sensual. As a lip gloss color on top of that one, 
this is the color Mint Baby Doll. I like this one because it is really minty and it brings a nice little pink to it. And I love Clay's colors because they're super long lasting, great quality, and they literally have a shade for every single color or whatever outfit you're wearing. And I like that you can stack them on top of one another. So I just used the Whisper, the Sensual, and Mint Baby Doll, and they were all awesome. I love the color that it creates for my skin and for going out and doing appearances. All right guys, so this does finish up our makeup look using All Clay Span Cosmetics perfect for appearances. I'm gonna go do my hair and then we'll finish up this video. And here is our look perfect for going out and meeting the public as Miss Teen, Miss or Mrs. International. I love using Clayspan Cosmetics because not only is he a phenomenal person, but they're long lasting, a great bang for the buck, and I know that it's going to give me that professional image that I'm going for as Miss International. If you're interested in purchasing Clayspan Cosmetics, you can either get them online or in store at the Competitive Image in Dothan, Alabama. These products are absolutely amazing and I'm so excited to continue wearing them as Miss International and even after Just As Amanda. If you're interested in more videos like this, give us a big thumbs up so we know and make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can get notified anytime we upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.